China is the world's most populated, one of the most wealthiest and interesting countries in the world. But how much do you know about China? Ni hao, I'm Rich from UK, living in Beijing. What's the difference between Chinese and Western dragons? What are China's biggest inventions? How big is the railway in China? What's the tallest, biggest and strangest building in China? I'm going to tell you the top 10 facts about China that you didn't know. Number 1. China is the most populous country in the world with over 1.4 billion people. But did you know that India's population is soon going to overtake China? India has 1.38 billion, which is 1.5% behind China. Number 2. Pandas. Everyone knows these cute and friendly pandas, but did you know every single panda living in the whole world belongs to China? That means if you see a panda in your country, it has been borrowed by China. The hometown of pandas is Chengdu, which is Sichuan's capital city. I've been there and pandas just eat all day long. They take about 10 to 16 hours a day of eating bamboo. But despite being a part of the bear family, they don't hibernate. And pandas are actually very good swimmers. Did you know that when a panda is born in another country, FedEx airlifts the cub to China for proper care and acclimatization? Number three. Do you like drinking tea? Did you know that every country around the world basically has a different name for tea, depending on whether it came from China by boat or by land? If the tea came by land, it's called cha. If it's by sea, it's called tea. So this depends on the dialect that the tea came from. According to popular legend, tea was discovered by the Chinese emperor Shenong in 2737 BC when a tea leaf fell into his boiling water. The Chinese consider tea to be a necessity of life and there are so many different types of tea. Number four. What's the difference between Chinese dragons and Western dragons? Did you know that Chinese dragons are friendly and they breathe water instead of fire? Many Chinese emperors consider themselves to be descendants of dragons. China has a very famous festival called the Dragon Boat Festival where people race boats with dragon design in the spring. Number five. If you put all of China's railway lines, it can loop around the world two times. China has the fastest train in the world, the bullet trains in Shanghai. The trains use magnetic levitation, where the trains basically suspend with no support, but use magnetic fields for acceleration. Number six. Do you like ice cream? Ice cream was discovered in China some 4,000 years ago. The Chinese people back then combined milk, rice texture and snow to create the yummy dessert. China invented ice cream and Marco Polo is rumoured to have taken the recipe, along with the recipe for noodles, back with him to Europe. The 7th century Emperor Tang of Shang Dynasty had 94 ice men who made him ice cream. Number 7 did you know that chopsticks were originally used for cooking and not for eating? Chopsticks were used because they could reach deep into boiling pots of water or oil. And then it was only later on when the population of China around AD 400 started to boom that people started to use chopsticks for eating. It was a way for cooks to save costs because they started chopping food into smaller pieces that required less cooking fuel. Number eight. Ketchup is supposedly from America, but did you know that actually they're from China? Ketchup comes from the Hokkaian Chinese word ketsiap, the name of sauce derived from fermented fish. Number nine. Ping pong is one of the most popular games in China, but did you know it wasn't invented in China? It originated in UK, where it was called table tennis. Actually, originally it's called wiffwaff, but China has some amazing inventions. Number 10. They have the four great inventions, paper making, printing, gunpowder, and the compass. In ancient China, soldiers sometimes wore armor made from paper, and toilet paper was invented in China in the late 1300s, and it was for emperors only. China invented paper money, which was a very important invention, and they started carrying money during the Tang Dynasty. China has also invented kites about 3,000 years ago, and they were actually designed to frighten the enemy in battle. Marco Polo actually noted that kites were also used to predict the success of a voyage and it was considered bad luck to let a kite go. If you found this interesting, check out this video which is about the top 12 tall, interesting and strange buildings in China. I'm sure that the last one will definitely amaze you.